now we won't we could just we could just sit here we'll sit here no one will no one will know what we're doing we'll just sit here looking <laughs> at iconis will be smiling as always yeah i can't i cannot smile sorry no george looks george literally looks like he's frozen now <laughs> I know. Hi, i'm david gordon uh from theater mania i'm here with the wonderful uh and i'm so happy to see your faces uh after all of this time, Joe Iconis, George Salazar, you know them from Be More Chill, you know them from 54 Below, where they are uh, reopening the place uh, this week, starting Thursday, uh, a return engagement of your show, Two Player Game. Is that what the show is called, or did I just get all Be More Chilled in my head? Uh, no, that's, that's the name. That's, that's not the title. I, uh, at, Gordon, never I know. Know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I love the al I do love the album. Uh, I'm excited to actually see the show live because we never got to last time. Uh, you never, wait a minute, never in the we did like we did like a million engagements over the course of like three years. You guys sell out every time. He was he was busy. Yeah, yeah. He was at Hades Town that night. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never told you guys. I went the opening night of Hades Town. This is way off the mark. Uh, the opening night of Hades Town, I saw Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, and then went to the Hades Town party. That's how short and long both of those shows are. And let me tell you, that was <laughs> uh, yeah, really a lot. Uh, so tell us about the tell me about the show, or tell the people watching about the show. Um, the show well. is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just want to say it's so hilarious that we're that we're doing this via Zoom because. Like George obviously is well not obviously, but he's in New York right now and we're gonna we're gonna rehearse like in an hour for the show. And so I just I feel like we've spent like a year and a half being in situations like this where we're remote. Uh, and now it's like we're still remote, but George is just slowly getting closer to me. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm on fifty seventh street right now. I, you're literally ten blocks away from where I yeah. am. I'm glad so, to be the, I'm glad to be the grand finale of your Zoom experiences. Yeah. This is as close as close as we're getting before consummation. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry when we're in that studio together. Are you excited? Like how well? How excited are you? I'm really excited. All right. So so to answer your first question, <laughs> the <laughs> game is uh, is a cabaret act uh, that Joe and I have crafted with love. Um, it's um, it's an assortment of standalone songs, songs for musicals that Joe's written, songs that I'm like, I've always been obsessed with. And I always like, you know, deep down inside wanted to sing at 54 Below. And, um, and so this will be, I believe our like fifth engagement. We did like three at 54 Below. We did one at um, Feinstein at the Nico in San Francisco. Um, and we're so excited to be reopening 54 Below with this act. And we're also going to be, um, you know, every other time we've done the show, we've done the same set list. Um, and this time we're going to do a lot of those same songs, but we're also going to throw in some things that we've never done at 54 Below. Um, and so uh, so it's going to be a it's going to be a fresher two player game for this like phase two of our lives. Right. Like this beginning, this 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 beginning of a new chapter. Um, for 54 Below, but also for us as collaborators and artists. I have not seen Joe in person since I did the Christmas show in December of 2019. Um, and then I went back to LA and then Joe did his beautiful, perfect, flawless, incredible Lincoln Center concert. And I watched it from my living room and sobbed through the whole thing because I was pissed that I wasn't there singing with him. And I think like if there's if there's one thing about living in LA now that I that I absolutely hate uh, and it kills me every time is that I can't just like roll out of bed and go sing with Joe somewhere. So this trip back to New York is yes. Like obviously I, I miss New York and I'm so happy to be here, but this trip is literally an iconist trip. Cause we're doing our, <laughs> we're doing our, we're doing our six shows at 54 below. And then we're doing some other shows somewhere else um, uh, uh, together. And so, yeah, uh, I'm so excited. I am going to be incredibly emotional. I have a feeling when I'm, in that rehearsal space with him in 45 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing, you know? Um, so, so much, I think for me personally, so much of my, like the happy good times of my journey here in New York are uh, centered around 
uh, working with Joe and making things with Joe. And so um, I'm just so happy to be vaccinated. I'm so happy to be back in New York and I'm so, so happy to be reopening the club with, with my buddy. And Joe doesn't feel the same way at all. No. Yeah. I have a few things to say. You know, I feel, I feel exactly the same. And you know, and the, the, it's been it's just this has just been the the most challenging challenging time and I, you know obviously what I I what I do with you know with the iconosant family stuff and with you know every project that that I do I I really I value you know my collaborators and I I hold them close uh, and it, as you know because they're like my actual friends so many of them and so you know with with Salazar it's it's just been so weird to not see him in real life for so long and just as just as a friend and then on top of that to have my you know one of my like number one collaborators ripped away from me for so long has also it's just it's just been it's been so hard and been uh i've never you know had to experience something like that uh, luckily uh, uh, over the course of my career and so the fact that we will have like a reunion that is both like a, a friend reunion and a and an artistic collaborator reunion is just like the coolest thing. And I am so uh, I am so specifically proud that we are the the show that's reopening 54 below. You know, like that that place has been such an artistic home to me for so long and I, you know, I was like I was one of the first shows there. And so the fact that like we get to be the literal first show back uh, as 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 New York enters this next phase is just something that I'm I, I don't take lightly. I'm I'm really super proud that we get to we get to be the the assholes performing first. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna walk you're gonna walk in there and it's gonna be like I don't know why I'm frightened. Yeah. It's well, that's be... you just yeah. That's yeah. it. That's uh, we're actually just performing uh, the score of Sunset Boulevard that's in its perfect. entirety. That's yeah. Perfect. About time, honestly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> George, is this well, I, I Joe, I know you've done like I, you've done like pop up concerts and stuff. Uh, George, is this your first time like performing live in front of people, yeah. real people? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you thought? Uh, have you guys thought about like the emotional resonance of that in your lives, knowing that you're both like theater guys? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I just did a concert with Seth Rudetsky, and I opened the concert with. Why from Tick Tick Boom, and I just started breaking down at the end of the song, and like co actually couldn't finish it. Um, just singing the lyrics, "Hey, what a way to spend a day," you know. Like I made a vow <laughs> um, <laughs> many years ago that this was how I was going to spend my life, and it's been a particularly difficult year for for me. Um, just kind of processing, you know. Um, inequity in, the, in, in, in this industry and kind of negotiating um, my place in it. Um, and so I just getting to stand in a room with real human beings again, with, uh, with a composer who has been such a champion of mine for many years and who has believed in me and has given me um, it, it just, the most incredible opportunities and has truly single-handedly changed my life um, to share, to share that with him. It's going to, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a puddle. And I, I think I need to try to get the crying out of the way because when I cry, uh, I can't sing and people are specifically paying money for <laughs> so you, should, you, should do, you should do the bathroom bit, but change it to crying and <laughs> Like crying in the bathroom. Yeah, wouldn't be a first time. Wouldn't be a first time. Um, yeah. So I mean, emotionally, yeah. I, I, I'm. I've always been like a very like sensitive human being, and Joe has seen me cry many times. I remember the first time I cried to Joe was after a Christmas show, uh, and I said, you know, it's been hard because I couldn't spend Christmas with my family in Florida. But you, I was wasted. By the way, I had like an entire box of wine. It was a, it was a pop. It was a prop from the show and I drank the whole thing. And this is after the last Christmas show. I think it was 2012. And I cried to him and I said, thank you, you gave, this is like home. This is like Christmas for me. And I know that like so many other people that are in Joe's orbit feel the exact same way about him too. So, you know, I, I, it's, it's gonna be a very emotional thing. You know, um, 
I love live performance. It's, it's the thing that makes me happiest and that I get to do it with my buddy six times over the next, you know, week is a fucking dream. My, I'm not allowed to curse. Sorry, Theater Medium. No, it's all good. You're allowed to curse. I don't have the, I don't have the sensor. This isn't television. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe, are you excited to like get back to this place? Like the this place that's your home that you know your your very dear friend runs to some degree and just like with all the memories there. Yeah, I mean, of, like of course, you know, I would. I am so uh, I'm just so over not being able to to be in rooms with other people. <laughs> you know, I, I I think that there are lots of you know, there are a lot there are a lot of um, uh, you know good things that that came out of the last year and a half and a lot of important conversations and um, but you know the personally not being able to to perform personally not being able to have that that part of my life be active, which was has become such a huge part of my life, has just been awful. It's really sucked. And you know, I've loved doing these pop-up performances, uh, mostly outdoors, but you know, just like I'm not a good enough performer to like figure out how to sing for 40 minutes in like a full suit in the blazing hot sun. <laughs> And so I've been like, I did this thing at Union Square, and by the end, I truly felt like I think I might die. Like I think I sat my head, <laughs> and I think that I might die because I, I also like refuse to not wear a suit when I perform. And so I'm like, I don't care how hot and muggy it's gonna be, I'm gonna put the suit on. And so I, it's like a miserable thing. It's awful. And so I'm so excited to be in a, a basement that I hope is freezing cold, that is yeah, below ground, cold. that it's enclosed. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I've never been so excited to perform in a, in a basement before in my, in my whole life. I just can't wait. And I'm not wait. I'm sort of stealing myself because the thing that I've missed most over the past year is just, and I didn't realize how much hearing live music or hearing music just played in person matters in my life and I didn't never really realize it until the past year and I'm just so excited to hear someone sing and see someone play the piano again and I'm I'm sort of not I'm sort of not uh thought about the emotions that it will bring up but I'm getting misty eyed talking about it now how excited I am to just be there with you guys and get drunk and, and cheer. Yeah uh, not too loud not too loud no, 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 no. No. No, I not, I notoriously am easily distracted, and then I'll forget the words, and then you know who knows. I might right, have so, a heart attack. So I'll leave. The, <laughs> I'll leave the "I love you, George" friend that I made at home. Oh no, uh, you should definitely definitely okay. bring that. Uh, what what song are you? What songs are you guys most excited to getting to getting back to uh, after all this time? All of them. Um, okay. I am really excited to do the song of the Brown Buffalo from oh, yeah. uh, Untitled Unauthorized Hunter S. Thompson musical. Um, I'm also really excited to do a song called The Vagabond because um, uh, there's a nice little treat that goes with that one. That's like a, that one we both, I think, feel like, you know, bulletproof rock stars during that song. Uh, of course, with the, the lighting and all that stuff. I mean, I'm just, the whole the whole thing. I mean, I think it's like, they, you're hard pressed to find a single song but written by Joe Iconis that isn't good, that isn't great. And I'm all the songs that we have um, in this lineup are solid, solid friggin' songs. Yeah. The and I and I would say you'd be hard pressed to to uh, to find a performance from George Sal Salazar that is not brilliant. And so for me doing the show, it's like, I feel like I have the best seat in the house because I'm right there at the piano and to watch him, you know, do these songs all in a row is such a stunning thing. And I almost, I feel bad that it's, that it's just really Georgie. I feel like if we had another actor come in and do like three songs, people would appreciate just how remarkable what George is doing is, you know, because it's like after a while you just get used to like, oh yeah, this is going to be another like insane sort of, you know, it's an insane characterization and insane performance. It's like there's every song, every, every song that he sings, it feels like it would be a showstopper if there were other people in the show, but it's not because it's just him. So it's like, as an audience member, I think you get used to it being so exciting and, and, and brilliant. 
so yeah, so maybe I'm talking myself into having special guest stars who are who are actors who I think are like maybe not so good. Just do a couple <laughs> a couple throughout the show. So Let's, the audience can properly this. appreciate. We're, I want to thank you, David, for giving us this opportunity to get all of like the, you know, the like ass kissy stuff out of the way. I promise at the concert, we're not just going to be complimenting <laughs> each other for an hour. Unless that's what people want. I mean, I'd watch that. I'd watch you guys do anything. No, else. you're great. Right. Uh, uh, George, George, I ask you this every time we do something like this. And we used to do these things with more frequency, like back when Beat Mitchell was up and stuff. But, uh, do you have the do you have a checklist of how many times you or a number a count list of how many times you sung Michael in the bathroom and what it will be after after this run of shows? Well, I I stopped counting when I hemorrhaged on Broadway because um, I had convinced myself that I hemorrhaged because I was keeping track and and a tally. So I stopped. But I will say that after uh, that throughout the pandemic. I had only sung Michael in the Bathroom twice. Um, I did it at Seth's concert, and then I did it at like a closed, like uh, Broadway fundraiser thing that like one of the WME agents was 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 putting up every every week. So I, I've only sung it twice in the you know in since. When was the last time? I mean, since since we closed, be more chill. Yeah. yeah in 2019 I guess. Yeah. this will be this will be I, i'm this, i do at this point in my life find the song to be very stressful um which is hilarious because it is an anxiety attack set to set to music so it's it's really life imitating art <laughs> but i'm i'm excited i'm excited to get back in there I, it always feels right when i sing it in that space yeah I would imagine there's a lot of pressure with you when it comes to that song, just knowing the history, the history, your history with it. Uh, um, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's, a, it's the song that changed my life. Right. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I, I, I may be, I may be like, you know, um, uh, bratty and 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 anxious about it. But at the end of the day, once, once I get through the song, I'm always like, ah, oh, it's like scratching like a, a good itch, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I'm uh, I'm so excited to to be there on Friday. Uh, Friday is a doubleheader, Joe. Your wife Lauren is doing the 9:45 show that night. Yeah, so, I know. That, so if, yeah, that show's gonna be dope. So if you're going, buy tickets to uh, to Lauren's too and make it a doubleheader. Both of them. They'll, they'll they'll probably kick you out in between, but don't worry, your chairs will still be there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and you're there. Well, you're there. You're there. I'm on the 54 Below website reading now. You're there. Uh, the 17th, 18th, 20th, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Uh, they just expanded capacity, so you could probably get a ticket now because uh, it sold out real yeah, fast. When it first went on sale. Yeah, there's nothing quite like uh, being like, "Wow, Joe, we sold out in under an hour," and then like a week later, they're like, "You go back to the site, and it's like, hey, there's tons of tickets left." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't give these things away, but you know. Uh, so Lauren, as you said, is doing the show um, on Friday night, and our great friend uh, Shakina is doing the show after us on Thursday. And uh, Lauren and Shakina just wrote this song that's specifically about that. How they both were like, "Oh my God, our show is sold out!" And then they were like, "Never mind, there's a hundred more tickets." And both were like, no, we felt so good about selling out, and now it's like tickets available. Um, so everyone should go watch on their their socials uh, Shakina and Lauren's song. It's very good. About I that. Can yeah. it on it. It's amazing. It's the, their their synchronicity in it is 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 truly one of the best things I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, it's gonna guys, it's gonna win a Pulitzer next year. Yeah, guys, I appreciate your time. Uh, I appreciate yours. Thank you as yeah. always. We can't wait to see you both, and I will air hug you across the room because I don't like talking to people anymore in person. Uh, <laughs> Uh, be well and uh, have a great rehearsal. Uh, I hope it is the emotional catharsis that you've been waiting for. We're we'll going to see. Bye. Get friends. ready. And thanks, thanks everybody. Everyone. Be well. Bye, friends. Bye.